Hello and um, welcome to another episode of my daily movie room videos. Um, I've got one thing to show from eBay and this is a Disney Infinity figure from 3.0 series. Uh, this is Sam Flynn from Tron. Um, so basically I've, I've been collecting Disney Infinity figures for a while. I've, I've picked up loads from different places as I've mentioned, B&M, Amazon, Game, on, on their website rather than the store. And out of 102 or so, I sold missing my 35. And I used to pick them up Amazon uh, once a month to pick one up because I had a voucher I got for four pounds, so I used to use that towards it. But the ones that I need to get now um, don't seem to be available new from anyone, or they're quite expensive, or they come from overseas and there's a like a um, postage charge. So I haven't bought any for a while. The ones that I have already got, this one, oh, those are still quite cheap. So I'm not sure why it's, why it's um, more difficult to get than others. I don't know, because they made more of them or something. Or the less popular characters. But um, yeah, I've been looking on e eBay, um, just for ones I want. And um, I found quite a few in there, decent price. So I'd ordered one originally, uh, which hasn't come yet. Then I found a seller some, some second hand and I'm hoping they're in good condition. They haven't arrived yet, but I'm hoping they're like in good condition and the cards are okay because obviously I could buy a lot of these used, but they don't come with the I'm not bothered about the packaging, um, but because I'm not keeping the packaging and this packaging, you know, it's all creased anyway. So whether it was like that when I bought it and I have taken it off to show it, but yeah, whether it was like that beforehand or it happened in the, in the box or whatever, but yeah, I don't bother about the packaging but i do want the card comes with it and i do i think i've kept some of these uh into bits like that but yeah it's the card i really want with as well i think you need the card for the game i have got the board that you put these on and i've got the discs i haven't actually used one of these yet um, my ps3 is downstairs i have to keep that downstairs so because it works as a Blu-ray player. Um, so I might just go into the game and see. And the thing I've seen with this, there's like 1.0, 2.0 and 3.0. I don't know if the first one's called 1.0 exactly, but and obviously some figures are only compatible with certain versions. Um, I do think I have all the different versions on disc, but I'd have to check that. But um, usually you get those with a starter set. You get that disc of the board and stuff. And I think I end up having like three or four of some of the discs so I end up giving them to charity shop it's not really worth anything but yeah so I've got those other ones coming I think one of the ones I'm waiting for is missing a card but um this was the last one I ordered of the ones I've ordered recently so at the at the 35 I think I've got another 10 in total on the way um so this is a Sam Flynn and this was listed as new <coughs> figure there and he's got his disc I haven't watched Tron for a long long time so I can't remember and I haven't got around to watching the the newer one yet but um we've got the card there I won't show the code because I don't know I don't know if the code's unique to to each um set or if all the if all these sampling have got the same code Obviously, you need the figure, but yeah, I do want to use these. Obviously, one's buying second hand. Obviously, the code is unique to the thing, and they may already be used, so potentially I can't use them. But I don't know what that's... What I'm not sure is, obviously, you can put the figure on there, but I don't know if you need the code as, and the figure. But, um, I'm not, like, necessarily going you know, to get around to playing the game and stuff, so not really a big issue, but I do want to make sure, obviously, the code. It's going to... Only be redeemed once is redeemed by me, but um, yeah, so you get this card with everyone. I do have like a card wallet, I put these top well, not a card, I, they weren't a card folder wallet, but I'm using like, plastic sheets now. Um, I've got any similar ones to hand. Yeah, a bit like these photo ones I've got, but obviously smaller, and you get more in each one so. I've got some of those in there and I've sorted them on to different, like the Marvel ones together and Star Wars ones. 
Um, so I'm missing quite a few of the Marvel ones, but those are some of the ones I've ordered, and there's some Star Wars ones I'm missing as well. But yeah, they to stop doing these. Um, shame really, because it's the last bit of the Carrie Sick could have done, and um, you know, they could have done a lot more figures. And I think they sort of, I can't remember if they had announced anything or mentioned any potential characters for like the fourth wave, but they sort of had some ideas and. Yeah, there's like things like Goofy they didn't do, Pluto, and like some of the film stuff they haven't done. Um, i trying to think what films I haven't done. You know, they could have done some Bugs Life stuff and things. There's, there's quite a few they could have done, you know, and, but um, unfortunately they stopped doing these. A lot of people sort of didn't want to buy these because, you know, you to buy the game, but you need to buy the figures. These are a bit like the Amiibos, but to me... I'm not really buying them for the game. I'm buying them for display because I like them, and you know, you don't get really many uh, good quality Disney figures. Um, you can see buy them. I've got I have got some of the ones, but you know, these are good quality, sturdy ones, and you know, the other ones tend to focus on like particular, like the Pixar only. You know, or they're a bit more expensive. Um, so. And obviously you've got the Funko versions as well, but yeah. But these these are nice, and um, probably one day I will get all the ones that I don't have. Things like Chewbacca and Darth Vader seem to be a more difficult one to get. But um, plugging away, I'm probably be down to about 25 then. Um, so I've, I've basically not... I'm sure that's it, but I was looking, I think the last time I actually bought any of these was like 2019. It seems a bit sooner than that, but perhaps it was 2019. Um, a couple of years ago, so yeah, I think I've bought more of these in the past or week than I have probably in the last three years. But um, yes, yeah, another one I'll put. That. Good thing is that can go somewhere on its own because it's only Tron one. Obviously, the ones the Marvel ones I'm getting, I'll have to move things around to put those ones with the Marvel ones. But yeah, and then um, they've all got a little bit of text at the back. But I know, I know there's. There are people who collect these and they keep them in boxes and hang them all up, but I'm not bothered about that because some of the ones I got were in sets and I'll say I bought them some second hand ones. And obviously, these boxes aren't great condition to these anyway. But again, to me, new is the figure and the card and sealed rather than the box being in perfect condition. I know some people say, Oh, they sent this back, say it's not new, but I'm not really bothered about the packaging, as I say. Yeah, and probably getting them all individual packaging anyway, so you could hang them all up. So it might only be in two sets, but I say the ones I got were in boxes. Uh, some more ones there. I think that of that lot. I've got all those apart from sadness at the end from uh, Inside Out, but that's the Inside Out ones I'm missing. I'll, actually, I do like the Inside Out ones. I think they did all the carries from Inside Out, all the all the emotions, but again, I'd have to check that. But, um, you got fear and anger, and um, I can't remember what she was called. So yeah, it's another Disney Infinity figure for the collection, and um, so one day I'll have them all, hopefully. But yeah, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.